Hi, I'm Neil Young, Max Senior Artist for the US based in New York, and I'm here today to create a 1920s inspired Halloween makeup on the gorgeous Christie. It's inspired from the film The Great Gatsby. Now the 1920s is very much about the eye. To put a little bit of mascara on first and then build the makeup around it. But the first product I'm gonna use is the paint pot. And this is called Groundworks, and it's a cream. So this is a great product to use. So what we're gonna do is create a really, really blown out eye. And then we're gonna take a blending brush and we're just gonna soften that into the crease of the eye. And it's about creating a much bigger shape around the eye. So cream's a really good way of doing this. So with the same brush, we're gonna work it under the eye as well. So we're gonna start in the middle of the lower lid, the lower lash line and then I'm just gonna work backwards and forwards and just connect it on the outer corner. And then we're gonna go back to our little blending brush. And I'm using a color called Copper Plate. And we're just gonna give it a little bit more depth. I'm taking this color right up onto the, almost into the brow now. And then just look up for me. So we're gonna push a little bit of this gray tone just under the eye as well. So, what we're gonna do now is take a little bit of a, a nude pencil. I'm going to just run this inside the waterline of the eye. So that's just the inner rim of the eye. So we just want to pop that out a little bit. So this is um, Houghton Naughty Two Black Lash Mascara. So we're just going to do a tiny little layer of foundation, a very light layer. There we go. So we don't want to cancel out Christie's freckles because they're really beautiful. Powder is probably the best way of uh, doing a brow. So I'm going to use um, the actual same colour that I used all over the lid, which is copper plate. It's almost like a sort of grey-brown tone. It's this one here. And then I just keep taking the line a little bit thicker. We're using a little bit of, um, this is pleasant, uh, Pleasantry Blush. It's a mineralized blush. So this is just to add a little bit of a flush just to the cheek here. We're gonna use a little bit of um, color on the lip. And I think I'm gonna use a color called um, Media, which is quite a deep color, but the great thing about this, it doesn't have to be perfect. You can just use your finger. We're just gonna press this color into the lip. And there you go, your 1920s Great Gatsby inspired Halloween makeup. Hi, I'm Misha G with Bumble and Bumble. And now that Christy's finished getting her makeup done, we're gonna start with the hair to complete the look. If the hair is really soft, um, you wanna add in a little bit of texture by using a product like Bumble and Bumble Thickening Spray. Just wanna mist that all the way through and then rough dry it in with your hands just to get the product in the hair with a blow dryer. And once the product's dried in, you wanna make a deep side part, whichever side you prefer that works best for your face. So an easy way to get a nice little soft finger wave in the front is by using little ridge clips um, instead of using a curling iron in the front. You just wanna spray with like a medium hold hairspray. And since Christy already has a natural wave, you can sort of see the pattern that you're gonna form a little. And the first ridge clip's gonna go right about at the start of the eyebrow, sort of where her hair is already bending. And then you just hold those in there until the end of the style so they can set. Um, for the rest of the hair, you're gonna be using a curling iron. If you have long hair, you can use a bigger barrel, about one and a half inches. But for shorter hair, I'm gonna use a one inch curling iron. And you're just gonna do a big barrel curl in her hair. Um, I'm using a Hot Tools Marcel iron. You can always use one that has a clamp um, if you have one of those at home. And you just wanna heat up the hair for a few seconds until you can sort of feel it on the outside. And you're gonna be taking horizontal sections all around the head until all the hair is curled. So once you finish doing all of the curls and they're all clipped up, you have to wait for them to cool before you take them out and brush them. So I just like to do a really quick spray with hairspray 
and tuck in some of the loose ends so they all get in there. And you want the curls to cool completely before you take out the clips. And while one side's cooling, you can start taking out the clips on the side you started on. The next step is to brush the hair, and don't be afraid to really get in there and brush the hair. Um, I use a smaller iron just to give room to be able to brush the curls out. And if by chance it's too curly, just keep brushing and keep brushing the hair. And it's almost like you're trying to brush the curl out slightly, because we're not looking for an actual curl, we're looking for more of a wave. Cool, so now I'm gonna take the ridge clips out in the front. And I don't want to brush the front too much because I want it to stay a little bit more solid. I'm just going to run a comb through it a little bit. I'm just going to use um, Bumble and Bumble Shine Spray and just lightly mist it over the hair. I'm just going to add in um, a little headband. And that's it. That's little 1920s Great Gatsby set.